Okay, in the case, um, BMW of North America versus Gore, um, okay, I'm a little bit scatterbrained this morning, it's still 5 a.m., so just bear with me, um, but Mr. Gore, he bought a brand new car, and the car was, uh, 1990, um, BMW... 533 I mean 35i um and he bought this new vehicle from a dealership in Alabama and Mr. Gore um discovered that they repainted the car um and obviously he was upset about that and the defendant so the plaintiff is mr gore and the defendant is bmw because he sued them after that um they were arguing well company policy blah blah, blah. the company policy i guess was like um that they could sell damaged cars as new as long as the costs could be fixed for less than three percent of the total cost of the car um, and they repainted the car because of rain damage during the shipment. And so anyways, um, the, Mr. Gore was awarded $4,000, um, in comp, uh, compensationary damages and $4 million in punitive, uh, um, punitive punitive, punitive damage, um, and so the question was, was that too excessive, um, and the, so that was, like, the initial thing, but, um, initial trial, but then BMW, um, appealed, and then the Alabama, Alabama Supreme Court reduced it to two million, um, instead of four million. So, um, the, then the BMW still appealed the two million, um, and, yeah, after they appealed the two million, they were just wondering if it was still, um, like, maybe I would say unethical, but they were just wondering if it was still right. And the 14th Amendment says that due processes, process, um, cause prohibits states from imposing grossly excessive punishments on torts. Um, and so in this case, it was a 500 to one ratio between the jury's um, punitive or punitive and the actual damage awards. So the amount was definitely ins insignificant and they were also talking about how the BMWs do um, process rights were violated because they could not anticipate um, like the punishment or they couldn't anticipate it wasn't fair notice to them and they couldn't participate that they were going to be like sued and faced with this case is from what I got um and so yeah it has to be held to further um proceedings because again the conclusion was initial case four million and then the supreme court um, of Alabama reduced it to two million, and yeah, that's that conclusion. But then I was because I said like the aftermath, the aftermath of it. Um, let me see the place restrictions on 
um, punitive damages. And so I was doing some more, like, research on how, like, the case officially, like, ended. And, um, from what I understood, because of the in in because of the pretty much unethical ratio, um, yeah, so they looked into unethical cool issues um how bmw was was being unethical because they were painting like this car and still selling it as new um they looked at that they looked at the ratios of the compens compensatory damage and the penitive damage and there was later a reduction of the two million itself to fifty thousand so um gorge ended up getting fifty thousand um, so it was reduced again, but that's just kind of some side, side info. Anyways, it was interesting. It was a super long case, but it was good.